Hello! So I made this video before and it got deleted, didn't save correctly, so I'm trying again. So first of all, I want a moment of silence for my coffee. This morning, Hank, you could see the lump up on the bed. Hanky! See him? He was so excited when I came home, he jumped up, knocked my coffee over, and I'm very sad. So I don't buy coffee out a lot although I used to, but because I'm doing my budget planning and being more mindful of where my money goes and what I put in my body, uh, I don't buy it as often. So today I was, you know, treating myself and I was like, yeah, no. Hank was like, fuck that, no. So there's my point. So today I wanted to talk about weight watchers. WW, it's not called that anymore, so that's WW. So I've been... Uh, I've I've had weight issues my pretty much my whole life. I've had eating disorders. I've had whatever you can think of, and they suck. It sucks. People look at you when you're overweight or eating or whatever, and they're just like, oh, just stop. Have a salad. Just don't eat it. Blah blah blah. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for it, and. You know, I guess if you, like my ex-husband was very thin and he would be like, oh, just have a salad. And I'd be like, oh, okay, didn't think of that. So, um, you know, it's like, and, and I don't believe in the word diets. I don't, I just don't. If you have an alcoholic, which is an addiction, just like food is an addiction. Um, if you have an alcoholic, they don't go on an alcohol diet. Someone who has chemical dependency, they don't go on a cocaine diet. So if you have a food, uh, a food addiction, you're not going on a diet, you're doing a life change. Life path, life plan change. So um, that's the first thing. Is I don't believe in fad diets. I don't believe in things like, you know, the cabbage soup. I guess if you have an alpha, you only need five pounds to lose, you have an alpha you want to get into, whatever. It's still not healthy for your body. I've tried just about everything though, and the one thing that I always, always come back to is, and it's because it works. First of all, uh, there's no, there's no food that you can't have. It's just a matter of knowing how much of that food you can have. You know, I journal, or I used to journal with, you, you know, my journal, but on the app, I can put in my food as I as I eat it, as I have it, so I don't have the anxiety of trying to remember or omitting anything because, like, one day I was eating, I was eating, I was making really bad choices. I was eating really shitty food and too much of it, and I was just like, well, you know, I don't have to put it on the app because it's just me, and then I was like, I'm choosing to lie to myself. Like, I'm choosing to try, like, it's just another form of self-sabotage. I'm accountable. I, I ate this. I chose to eat it. Even though while I was eating it, I was like, bitch, why are you eating this? Like, you don't even want it. And I ate it. I was accountable. And then I moved forward. I, I acknowledged it. I felt my feelings. And I moved forward. So the reason I like WW is because... First of all, there's an accountability. So if you go in person, which I don't, I do the app online. And I didn't know because in the past, if you did online, you could not go in person. And even now, I was told I was only allowed one meeting. I went with my friend Erin. And Erin, if you should see this, I'm sorry, but that lady was very loud. She was very loud. So in person is nice because you get those, you know, acknowledgments. You get the accountability. You get ideas. You get camaraderie, you make friendships, you know, people know each other's names and they know each other's stories. They know each other's struggles. And I think that that's beautiful and they can watch each other succeed and what the downside is the success that you're going to see is only there at noon on Wednesday. So that's my problem because like way before I was in a group and Nobody was doing, like, nobody was losing weight. And when I got stuck, I got stuck at, like, 22 pounds. And I got stuck, and I was like, I don't really have anyone here 
that inspires me because they're just showing, even though, and it's perfectly fine to not be losing weight, to be gaining weight and to still show up. You're being accountable and you're there. And I think that's wonderful, but I needed more. I needed, I needed, so I, I changed meetings. I went to a different meeting and that's what I started doing. But then at that same time, when you do that, then you don't really get to know people. So it's kind of like, you know, whatever. So first of all, what I do is I meal plan on the app. You know, you can put in your, you can make your meals. They, it, when you eat something a lot, it'll, it'll automatically come up like for breakfast. This is what you had this time and blah, blah, blah. So I have a meal planner that I actually like to write out. I sit down, I go through our breakfast, lunch, and dinners every morning. I make Julian and I breakfast. My lunches are usually a suggestion because, um, sorry, because, you know, I might not want it, but this way I'm not, this way I'm not picking. I'm not, oh, come on. This way I'm not picking at food because I don't know what to have. So I know what's in the I know what's in the refrigerator. I know what's in the cabinets. I know all that stuff. I don't do fat free. I don't do uh, diet, low sugar, low fat, because that's all chemicals. They take out the low, the fat, the sugar, whatever, and they put chemicals in. And there's no tracking for chemicals. Also with the sprays, people are like, yeah, I use you know the Pam, and I didn't need to count points for butter. But did you count points for the petroleum that you're intaking? So if you go to any store, uh, WW Studios has, Pampered Chef has, Target, I'm sure Walmart, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, where, whatever home type store or whatever store, you can just buy a sprayer and you put oil in it and you fucking spray. I found an Aldi uh, grapeseed oil spray that is just grapeseed oil. So once that's done, I will just go. I used to have one from Pampered Chef and you just spray bottle because, you know, why put, you're trying to be healthier. Why put more chemicals into your body? So that's that. So anyway, I sit down once a week with my meal planner. I look to see what's on sale in the stores. I look to see what I can get coupons from. I don't really eat meat. So, but my mother and my son do. And you know, sometimes like I'll make chicken and whatever, and I don't eat it except for buffalo chicken dip. I think that's what it's called. It's fucking delicious. Anyway, so I try to make a component in the meal that everybody's going to like something. And when I have those high meat meals, I make myself a vegetarian. My favorite thing is a chickpea and potato curry. It's so good. I love Indian food, so... That's always my go-to. Or Mediterranean. I love that too. Anyway. So on the thing, I'm going to put it in my link tree. It's a meal planner. You write it all down. And like I said, for my lunches, it's suggestions. Because I might not be in the mood for that that day at lunch. You know, the Greek salad. But I know it's there. So, and it's an option. And it's, it's to spark my memory to say, hey, bitch, like, leave the Doritos alone. And we don't, I don't really, when I shop, I don't really have a lot of that in the house. But sometimes it's here. And I enjoy it. And it's not a fact that I can't have it on WW. It's a fact that I don't necessarily have the control yet for it. So things that I do in the house, I have, excuse me, I have portioned out. As soon as I come home, there are these chocolate cool cat cookies from Trader Joe's that I love. But I will eat the whole big thing in one sitting because as you're going through it, it's like, well, I already ate this much. Mindless eating. So what I do is as soon as I come home, I take out my scale, take out my baggies. I weigh it all out, wrap it all up, and I put it back in the container. So I still have that, you know, putting my hand in and getting it out. Um, but I'm going to put the meal. Anyway, so the meal plan, I'm going to put the link tree. But I do all that, and then on the side, there is a grocery list. I write down what I need, rip it off, stick the rest of it on the refrigerator because it has a magnet. Although my magnet fell off. But it could be because I was too aggressive. I don't know. Anyway, so my next thing is um, in person and online. I started the in person. So my online, I really love. 
I was online for a while. You can put in your water, you can put in your fitness, and then it shows you, like it keeps track of it for you and all this other stuff. And there's a community, and I didn't realize that originally, that there's this whole fucking community of people that you can talk to and whatever. And it's kind of amazing because, like I said before, in person, you don't really get to see a good variety of success. Your leader, of course, is a lifetime, so she lost a lot of weight or he. But online, you know, you can be going through and you're talking or you're reading the story of someone that lost five pounds, their first five, the next five, whatever. And then you get someone that's 105 pounds or you get to see someone's struggles and things that are common sense to me. Like I would read it and be like, oh, come on. And then I'm like, no, they, they're asking because they don't know because they're not at that point in their journey. I've been on this journey, which seems like forever. So they're not there yet. And then sometimes I see someone who only needs, only needs to lose 10 pounds. And I'm like, Dude. but if I started when I only needed 10 pounds, then I would not be this overweight. I would not be this unhealthy. And I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. So, you know, the first thing you have to do is you have to quit judging people because nobody wants to be judged. So anyway, uh, so online, I... And just, I, I love the community. I took a screenshot of my breakfast. I don't know if I already said this because I've done this video too many times already. Um, yeah, I think I already did. So I'm going to cut it there. Anyway, it's not easy. And like I said, anytime I stop, it's because I didn't have the finances for it. But once you put yourself as a priority... And I know, like they say, you're supposed to pay yourself first, but months when I, I do, my plan for Weight Watchers is they always have these amazing deals, WW, not Weight Watchers. They have these amazing deals for you to join. And when you get on those deals, it's like, it, it, you have to put yourself as a priority. You have to put yourself first sometimes. I have my son and... I, oh, he's always my number one. But sometimes I have to say, you know what? Instead of buying coffees, expensive coffees or Pokemon cards or going out, like take that money, put it aside and get yourself some WW in your life because you are worth it. You are necessary. You are needed. You are a miracle. You deserve to be here. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be healthy. You deserve to be fit and healthy. And I deserve it. And I'm doing it. And I really hope that along this journey, maybe I pick up a couple more people that can help motivate me and that I can help motivate. And now I'm going to try to do the ending of the video where I don't have to look over, which I already looked over. And I'm leaving it there. So until next time. Bye.